Hi everyone, Jo here again. Welcome to another Coffee Break Crafts. So, I hope you're feeling well. I hope you've got a brew. I'm on water today. So it's sort of going to be a water break, but it's in my favourite mug, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Today, we're going to create just a nice little floral design that I think is perfect for this time of year. But you can mix it up a bit. You can choose what stamps, what colours. And I'm just going to start off and I'm going to add... I'm going to be using a 6x6 six six, um, square card blank. So the piece of card I've got is five and a half inches square. I know some of you like to know. And I'm using the um, the cream multifarious. I just think it looks, it's just nice for a change, isn't it? And I'm going to come in with one of our circle masks. And I'm using almost the outy bit. And I'm going to use greens for this. I'm going to come in with my elements, my lime punch. And my theory is I'm going to team it up with my Versafine Claire Verdant and I like to do that when I'm making a design look at how I can team my colours up before I start so I've got my brush here and as always I'm going to add some ink onto my brush and dab it off on my lid and I'm just going to hold this in place try and get into the habit of dabbing the ink even though we've dabbed it on the lid just onto your mask as well and I'm going to start in this corner just because I want this corner a bit deeper. And then I'm going to gently, gently, and this is a great way of practising your blending. Remember, nice light, don't be too heavy handed. And especially when you get to up here, I want it a bit lighter up here. So a nice light touch. So almost tickle, we like that word, don't we? Just tickle the edge here. And then when I come in here where I want it deeper, and this is just a great way to practice this blending. Pick that ink up off there and bring it back into this corner where we want it deep. There we go. We'll pop the lid on now. So that's the basis, really, of that blending. I want the darker bit over here, but it's just easy for me to do it. It's just quirky. That's the way I am. Now, what I have done is on a piece of copy paper, I popped my mask look, drew round it and I've cut that out because this now gives me, I want to add some stamping on here. But before I do that, I'm just going to add my black Sharpie line round. And I like to do this before I do my stamping, just because, do you know what? If I don't, if I do it at the end, you know what's going to happen? It's going to whiz right along my finished design. And, you know, I know you all know what I mean, because I've seen it at workshops when we hear the cries and the, oh no, and somebody's gone, oh, I forgot I did it at the end and it's whizzed. Right, so you can decide where you want your darker area. I want mine down this side. So I'm just going to come in with my... And I do keep these, look, I've used it before. And the stamps I'm going to use is I've got just two stamps today. And... The first one, we've got two stamps on the same stamp set and this is the um, Wild Summer Flowers and then I'm going to come in with the Field Grass. So, I'm going to use black, the Nocturne, to start off with. For some reason today my chair's squeaking a bit, I've no idea why. So if you hear a little bit of squeaking, it's not me, it's not Eric, it's my chair. Right, so just make sure that's there. And let's pop one, the large one, I'm thinking, there. And let's just add a little bit, the corner, I'm thinking, there. And then we'll come in this smaller one. I love the way they teamed the two together. And then we'll just pop this one here maybe a little corner there and then just a tiny hint if you need to move your paper look tiny hint of it there and then I'm going to pop the lid on the black 
and then come in with the verdant and this is where I'm going to bring the green in and I'm going to bring it in with my lovely um, meadow grass stamp now we have the orchard grass which is a smaller version it's the meadows little sister so you could use either if you just wanted to see look that's what we've got so far again doesn't take long does it now these I'm thinking you could batch card make these right and what I like about this stamp, it's a very wispy stamp, but if you add a little bit of colour look, and again, I just want some, just want to ink up the end, and I just almost want a hint of the grasses there. Right, I need a tiny bit more, so second generation, yeah, that's lovely. If I take that off, so I'm happy with that. Now what I'm thinking is, let's just add, if we get rid of this, I want to add Moon Mask over here. Just need to check that's clean. Bit of good housekeeping. Now if I just do that, I may go over here. But what we can do is bring back this mask look. Now again, I'm just going to hold things in place. So I'm going to hold carefully that there and that there and then back with the same colour ink and again in dab it in the lid and just gently gently I just want a hint of this I don't want the area to be too dark and again just tickle you don't want to make a mess of it and come in too solid with this we just want a hint right now let's have a look you'll be amazed see look at that that's subtle for me that's enough You'd be amazed. It, you, you don't need as much ink as you think you will. I'm just wiping my mask, my moon mask, and we'll pop that away. So, little finishing touches. Yellow Posca pen. And we'll just add some little yellow here where these lovely summer flowers. Now, again, if you've got the sparkly Posca pens, they work really well for this. Well, I've just heard the little rappings on my window, so he does this. It means his bird feeder needs fi filling up. I can see him out of my craft room window. So lovely. I think he wants coffee break crafts, don't you? We'll just add a little bit down here. And then I just want to add a couple of little water splats here. So I'm going to bring this in again. I'm going to use my fan brush. Make sure I don't dip it in my, in my drinking water. And I just want to add a few, just to full bleach this little area. And again, they won't be that obvious. Oh look, must have had some blue on there. Never mind. It happens. We like it. And it'll just add a little bit of full bleaching. Not too much, just a little bit. Oh, that's nice. I'm just going to give it a pat. And so it'll just be subtle. If I just lift this up and show you. Can you see we've got those little faux bleaches and I didn't want them too much. So that's enough. I like that. Right. Some stickles. We need some stickles. So again, stickles for me, um, it's a bit rude, a bit naughty. I mean, it has wind. If I put it directly on my work, sometimes it can have wind. See, he's a windy chap. Or lady, it could be either. Just saying, windy person. This is just an old Wink of Stella brush. It's just any brush you can use. I just keep it. It's an empty one. But just for me, I know it, it has my glitter brush. You could use a dry water brush. But for me, it's just having a brush that I use for my stickles. And I find I can paint my stickles on exactly where I want it. I don't get spit spots of it on my work. And do you know what? I'm a bit thrifty, so my stickles will last longer. But also, it actually dries quicker. Give that a mop. Just remember to mop that up. And we're going to add a sentiment. So from my lovely sentiment stickers... Let's have a look. Oh, and this is the bit, you know, 
forever it can take me forever live in the moment otherwise that's my worst bit i spend ages looking right so i'm going to use my scissors just and i can decide do i want it here or do i quite like it or, or do i no i think i'm going to go down here see originally i thought there but no i'm thinking down here and i'm actually going to pop it there And with my fine liner pen, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a border. And we'll add a little bit of squiggly lines. Just And again, you don't have to do this. If, if you're not keen on the borders, you don't add them. And then that will go on my card blank there. But I'm just going to wait for my stickles to dry. And what I have done is I've decorated my envelope ready. But again, remember, first a fine clear ink only because I'm going to pop this in the post. And we've had a bit of rain recently, so I don't want that to get wet and run. So I'm a VersaFine clear permanent ink. And I think that my friend will be really pleased to receive that. And knowing that we made it in our coffee break. Now, just to show you different colour tones, look at this. This is one I made earlier, and this one I've used confetti. And I've teamed it up with, let me have a look, um, Charming Pink was the VersaFine Claire. I just had to check. And this one, just for different, I've added a butterfly right, from our, our pound, our minis, the butterfly mini, just to mix it up a bit. So just to give you a bit of choice, show a bit of variety. So I'm going to have another sip of water now and say thank you very much for joining me. You take care, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.